up north at four. I was recently reading a magazine from Decorah, Iowa, and I came across an excellent article that was written by a mental health expert, and that expert is Olivia Schnur. She's joining us now on Up North at Four. Olivia, I reached out to you because I thought your writing was so good, and I wanted our viewers to kind of see that as well. So before we get into some five daily habits about good mental health, let's just talk a little bit about your background. How did you get into this sort of work? Um, so I got my master's in clinical mental health counseling in 2016. I just felt really drawn to mental health. Um, and it's, I think, really come into the collective conscious lately, um, mostly probably because of COVID. But it seems like more and more people are coming to understand the importance of mental health. And, you know, making mental health more accessible, I think, is really important with all the demand. Definitely. And that's what we're here today to do. So let's make it more accessible. You gave me five words and then you're going to expand on those words. Our first word is thoughts. Tell me about thoughts. Yes, I think it sounds really simple, but do we actually consider how our thinking impacts our mental health? Because so often our thoughts are just automatic, unconscious, but we do have control over them. And so it's this idea of metacognition. So thinking about your thinking, you can actually stop and observe your thoughts. You know, this is what we call mindfulness, but it's really just kind of tracking your thoughts, watching them, listening to them. Everybody you know, experiences that a little bit differently, but just paying attention to what's going on in there. And I like to say like the weather of your mind. So what is the weather? You can track those patterns over time. And if you notice that the weather is like really dark and stormy a lot of the times, or lots of lightning bolts, anxiety, you know, fear, you can start to shift that. Sometimes you can shift that on your own and just kind of bring yourself back to more positive types of thinking. But sometimes you do need the help of a professional to kind of help track those thinking patterns and give you tools and techniques to intervene. But mindfulness is just one way that you can at least start to figure out what is the weather without really changing it. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I've heard mindfulness is kind of paying attention to what you're paying attention to non-judgmentally, right? So you're paying attention to the weather as you say it, not necessarily to be hard on yourself or be mad. It's just what's going on. Do I understand that correctly? Yeah, because we don't want to shame ourselves for feeling a certain way. Like there's a lot of things that set us up to experience the weather that we're having and you know just noticing is information so you don't have to judge that process you don't have to shame yourself for whatever's going on just notice it and then you know if the weather's bright and sunny every day great but if it's not you can get help with that and you can change that 